One of our top stories is the health department is alarmed over the rising number of leptospirosis cases in the country. And to help us understand the signs and symptoms and how to prevent it, we have here with us our resident doctor, MedTalk Health Talk host, Dr. Freddy Gomez. Good morning, Doc Freddy. Thanks yes. for being here. Good morning. Freddy. Nice okay. to be back. Now, I guess the first question really is why is there seemingly this increase in number of cases of leptospirosis? Well, it could be just an increase in the number of sources for the bacteria. In this case, uh, it's been explained earlier, as you said, that rats have been pretty much the predominant co uh, reason for, for the spread of this bacteria. Or it could also be a better uh, uh, reporting of the cases this time around. I see. So it's just rats? I mean, when they say it's also the infected humans and animals, I mean, can you explain further? Yes, the bacteria actually harbors not just in rats. It's okay. just that rats are the more common uh, animal that we think of. It's just because they just multiply yeah. so much. Yeah. They multiply so fast and they're uh -huh. everywhere. They're, and the they're, streets, yeah. they're in pretty much um, in places that aren't so clean. So what happens is these rats uh, with, with, with the urine and it's everywhere and then when the floods come in they sort of bring up that bacteria and just spread it around even further but people have to be aware that it's not just rats it can be stray cats stray dogs and all of these animals it's just that they're not as prolific as rats and it's not just flood waters that they should be uh, worried about because you can be infected by leptospirosis year-round, not just, not just uh, during the rainy season. It's just more predominant during the rainy season because of the floods, but it's mostly in moist soil. So a lot of those at risk of that are, are our brothers and sisters who are farmers, uh, those who, who handle soil a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's something to watch out for as well. Dr. Freddy, we've been telling uh, our viewers since the start of the show, but you know about the, the symptoms, but and, you know it helps again. Repeat yes. since the symptoms of leptospirosis can be easily confused with other diseases. Now, how do we know if we're already suffering from lepto and not other diseases? That's a good. That's a good question, Andre. Because with leptospirosis. Uh, what you have is an immediate fever. So you have an immediate high fever. Let's say you, you were exposed to uh, 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 the bacteria. Probably it can happen in as soon as two days or as late as probably around seven, seven to ten days. So it's around two days to a week. You'll have immediate fever. You'll have a severe headache, a really bad headache. Um, you might have nausea. You might have vomiting. You might even have a rash. Now, if you study the symptoms, these are pretty common with other ailments as exactly. well. Some people might mistake it for just having a bad case of the flu. Some people might even mistake it for dengue. So it's really important to, when you report this to your doctor, for a really good history. Tell your doctor if you were exposed to, to floodwaters in this case or, or any such scenario which leptospirosis might be a factor. Do you have cases no symptoms at all? Yes. That mm. that actually happens there are? more okay. often than not. No, a lot, of, yes. No, a lot of the cases, uh, a lot of the cases of leptospirosis, the, the 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 one infected may not have any symptoms. But the the thing about leptospirosis is it's it's a two phase type of disease. Uh, initially, the patient will have the symptoms, they will get well, and then it'll come back. When it comes back, that's when the complications will set in. Complications with the liver, uh, you might have meningitis, your kidneys might be affected as well. And this is where it becomes bad. But majority of the cases of those infected with leptospirosis will, will go through it. And, and with that also, I mean, it's unavoidable that, I mean, it's raining all the time. We'll actually inevitably have to walk through the floods. What are the things that we can do knowing that I was exposed to this? Is there anything I can do right after? Or? Yes. If you, were, if, if you were walking through a flood, the, the, the thing to watch out for is it enters your body through your mucous membranes. Uh, that means uh, through, through, through your nasal cavity, through your mouth, through your eyes, through cuts and bruises on your skin. So if those who are waiting in water know that they have uh, uh, cuts and bruises, you might have manicure, that's something that they don't think about, it could enter through there. So if, if, if you think you have that, and notice that you have uh, uh, signs of, of flu symptoms a few, uh, few days after, it's best to see your doctor. Do not take antibiotics right away. Do not try to treat yourself, please, right away with antibiotics. See a doctor so they can give you the correct 
antibiotic for that. Right, don't self-medicate. Well, now we speak to Health Undersecretary Eric Domingo. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us here on New Day. This is Ria Tanuat Cotrillo with Andre Felix, Christine Jacob Sendejas, and uh, Doc Freddy Gomez. Sir, if we may ask you, what is the government doing about the rising number of lepto cases? Hello, sir. Undersecretary Domingo, are you with us? Okay, huh? perhaps. So yeah, okay, we'll, we'll try him again later. But, okay, you're talking about the symptoms, Doc Freddy. What are the things we can do to prevent it? As you said, if you are a farmer or an agricultural worker, you, you have to work. You can't not be exposed to those things, right? Right. So, ideally, I, the, the ideal case scenario is when, when you will be handling any uh, soil that might be infected by, by all of these uh, mammals or rodents, you want to have protective boots. You want to wear gloves with that, but unfortunately, it, it, that's not always the case. Not, not, not everyone can do that. It's just be mindful of your surroundings. Prevention, I think, is better than trying to look for, look for a cure mm -hmm. uh, in, in this case. So keep your surroundings clean. Uh, if you can avoid going through floodwaters, if you can avoid going through uh, a very uh, moist soil or something like that, uh, I think that that would be the case. I, even in, uh, uh, I remember if, the, especially the students during this time of, of year, they have to go through floodwaters in some parts of Manila, right? Some right. universities yeah. in Manila yes. are known to have floodwaters. And you know, you can do everything. If you don't have boots, you know, I've seen other students use plastic bags plastic to cover bags. their feet. Okay. I mean, just really don't can, expose yes, your skin. Yes, don't yeah. expose your skin. Because just wearing jeans is not enough. Like, no, definitely no. not. Especially Some people say, I don't have shorts, I have jeans. But that's the common misconception. But yes. this is especially if you do have an open wound that's or correct. cut. But that's if correct. not, you're pretty much uh, yes. a little safe, safe yes. with that. And I think we, have, we still have health. Um, Undersecretary Eric Domingo is back on the line. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, I, I think we're still trying to get the uh, Undersecretary with yes. us this yeah. morning. Sure. Okay, we will try to get uh, Health Undersecretary Domingo again later. Um, Doc Freddy, it would yes. be nice to have him. But uh, again, just a few reminders, we cannot stress it enough. Just take care, be careful, be safe if you're going out and braving these waters, yes. correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, right. thank you. Thank you so much with that. And, you know, the rains are coming. As Andrea was saying, it's inevitable. So I guess, you know, prevention is always the best medicine yes. at this and, point. And don't panic. That's, that's don't one panic. Thing. Yes. yes. That's that's don't I, panic. I don't want ev uh, our viewers out there to have sort of this panic mode that you know, when they go out, they might be infected by leptospirosis. It's just keep, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep your common sense around. Keep your surroundings clean and everything should be fine. Okay. All right. Thank Anyways. you again. We have MedTalk Health Doc host, Dr. Freddie Gomez.